Hi everyone, Brian here wishing you a wonderful Friday and a great weekend ahead. This Sunday, uh, we along with the rest of the church are celebrating Feast of the uh, Pentecost. Uh, I know a lot of uh, people uh, don't really sort of manage their life according to these great church festivals, at least other than uh, say Christmas and Easter. Uh, but this is kind of an important one because it's about the church, really. Uh, and it's been one of the things that I think has confused people over the centuries. Uh, or, um, if not confused, at least was an area where we found, found it difficult to agree. Uh, right from the New Testament, uh, Paul began to recognize that the Holy Spirit, which we're celebrating this Sunday, was clearly among the Gentiles who were responding to the uh, proclamations of the apostles who went out and talked about the gospel. But, you know, a lot of Jewish Christians just couldn't see it. Uh, they were looking for the Spirit in a very different place or in a different way. Now, you know, we think that's all very settled because by the time the New Testament period was done, Gentiles were full and equal members of the church, and indeed, uh, the number of Jewish Christians who, I mean Jews, uh, who were uh, flirting with what the gospel might mean or who Jesus Christ might be, was diminishing. So, you know, we, we've sort of seen it as, as uh, Gentiles winning and, and Jews lo losing out sort of thing, uh, which is an awful reading of the New Testament. Uh, but it, it bespeaks this challenge that um, uh, the church is left with the Holy Spirit, and, and it can be a challenge to discern. On the other hand, I'm really proud of the Episcopal Church uh, in this vein. We can be kind of crusty or traditional or uh, without a lot of the passion that a lot of other Christians have, and perhaps we do need to work on that. At the same time, I think we have found the way that, at least I believe, uh, the world needs to comprehend the spirit of Christ at work in the world. Uh, there's no simple process. There's no simple phrase in scripture that is the key to everything else. Uh, there's no reading of the Bible kind of like a how-to book to be living by the Spirit in the world. Um, there's no single bishop who's going to um, save the church through his or her insight. Um, there are, of course, some ways in which we've discerned over the centuries how this works. But in the Episcopal Church, when we balance our understanding of Spirit, coming to us through scripture and tradition and um, our capacity for thoughtful re uh, reflection, uh, which we call reason. Um, so when a reasonable question gets asked, even if scripture and tradition have not spoken to it before, scripture and tradition never talked about how Gentiles could be united under the Messiah, uh, without becoming Jews, for example. Story right from the New Testament. But then, you know, there are many in the modern world today. We can't comprehend, or at least many Christians, can't comprehend uh, how members of the LGBTQ community can possibly be resonating with the Spirit. But we Episcopalians have a path to understanding that and going beyond understanding it and celebrating it. Same thing with the role of women. Uh, you can read scripture and you can look back in tradition and, you know, it's not easy to find a long-standing uh, authority for the voice of women and the participation of women in the leadership of the church. But once again, um, uh, because it's a reasonable question, we could ask it and lo and behold, scripture and tradition came alive for us. Uh, as it did for, say, St. Peter or St. James of Jerusalem once they realized, once their eyes were opened and realized that what Paul was saying was a, a glorious truth. So, anyway, that's the uh, celebration for this Sunday. 
Um, and so it's a chance uh, not only to get out on a nice spring day and enjoy uh, getting together with fellow COSers, it's a chance to sort of celebrate just exactly what we are as church. Peter Savetta's preaching. Come on and join us 745, 9 or 1045 this Sunday. Looking forward to seeing you all. Take care. God bless.